Um, the, the second presentation um, on uh, that described the uh, the market trends I thought was very interesting. There was things in there that um, were new information um, to me, particularly things like the um, the growth of the backside illumination market and ha how much of the market that he thought that was going to be. I think he said something like 70 percent by uh, 2015, which is a, a huge growth um, opportunity. Because that, that's, I think now it's, um, I don't know, less than 20 percent probably. So, um, so that's that's a huge opportunity. I think that was very interesting to me. And um, some of the other stuff is a little too technical <laughs> for me, but I'm sure it was very interesting for other people. <laughs> I, I think um, you know I'm not a great expert on on the image sensor market, but but from what I do know, um, again I think backside illumination is is a huge opportunity. Um, so from a from a technology side, I think that's very important. Um, a lot of the work um, in uh, pix in the actual you know pixels themselves, there's a lot of important work going on there. The the drivers for all of that. Um, is you know what's interesting to me is is the the market um, and the um, and the opportunities there. So um, things like mo I mean mobile is obvious, um, but there's there will be more and more and more opportunities there. Um, other other industries like autom automotive is another big um, opportunity. So I think um, some of those markets are just starting now. Others are you know like mobile's been around for a few years, but um, I think um, the the key changes which Im impact um, the imaging, uh, you know, the more imaging, pure imaging side of things, and also the image sensor market, is that um, you know, f um, imaging and photography used to be a very sort of siloed, vertical um, market where there was you know there were some camera vendors and some film vendors, and then there was their suppliers, and that was it. And now the market is much more um, horizontal. So now there's there's image there's um, there's cameras in everything. So instead of having this sort of siloed um, industry, we now have a situation where it, it just permeates. Um, I mean, there's almost no limit to what the opportunities are, and I think that's that's the great thing about being here and <laughs> being in this market. This, this the beginning of you know marrying a, mo a mobile phone with a camera. Um, which gave two things basically to consumers. One, um, a very easy way to share photographs that they didn't have um, before. Um, obviously, you know, digital sort of digital was good and bad for consumers, right? Because before, um, with film, it was it was really I mean it was not ideal, but it was simple, right? You shot a roll of film, you took it down to the drugstore, you had it developed, you picked up the pictures. Everybody knew how to do that. They knew where you know what to do and how to get it done. Um, with with digital, obviously, it became, you know, so, in some ways easier, in some ways a lot more complicated. And so the um, marrying of the mobile device and the camera um, enabled people to a just transmit the images and, and share them much more easily. But also, people now have a camera with them all the time, whereas before they would carry one for an important event, um, you know, wedding, of, you know. A holiday, that t that type of thing, and so it's really um, for consumers. It's really changed the way that they use photography. So now people use their camera phones to capture information a lot more than just an event. I'm not sure about in Europe, but in, in the U.S., you can do um, deposits by taking a photograph of a check that's made to you, and it can you, you take a photograph of it with your uh, mobile device, and off it goes in, into your uh, bank account. And you don't have to go to the bank or you know, do anything. You can also do the same thing with paying bills and you know, scanning business cards. There's, just, there's so, much more, um, so much more you can do um, with a camera and a mobile device than um, than there ever was with just a you know standalone camera. So from the consumer standpoint, um, it's it's just enabled you know a whole lot of n new things, new uses, um, a lot more convenience in um, doing things that used to involve you know going to the bank and standing in line. Um, now you don't have to. You can just shoot a photo and off it goes and you're done. So it's it's it, I think for consumers it's very exciting. I'm a little. Uh, 
bit skeptical of the 3D market myself. I, I think um, I think there are some applications like gaming where it makes a lot of sense, and I think people that are very into gaming um, will use a, a, a mobile handset that has 3D, or they'll use um, a, a 3D, you know, large screen TV in their home um, and do um, and do gaming there, and I, th and I think it will do very well in the theater um, and that kind of thing. And, and maybe eventually it'll catch on in more um, in more use cases. But um, I think, um, particularly with our sort of reset, um, you know, economic thinking, where um, at least in the U.S. since you know since the last major recession we we've just come through, um, people are being much more conservative about buying things that they don't really need, and so. Um, honestly, I don't really see people, you know, rushing out to get, to replace the flat screen TV they just bought, you know, last year with a new one just because it's 3D. I think, you know, the, the ones that are um, probably the most mature um, automotive, we've, we've seen some presentations this morning. Um, on the on the opportunities there, there 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 can be you know in 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 a single car there can be 50 cameras you know easily so I mean you know do the math that's uh, you know everybody everybody has a car at least in the U S everybody has a car and most people do here too but um, you know that's a lot of cameras right so I think automotive is a huge opportunity um, there are some other um, you know gaming obviously um, a lot of people spend a lot of money on gaming so. Um, that can be a big opportunity. Mo mobile is going to just continue to grow. There's um, with um, the smartphone segment, you know, is not the whole market yet, um, but it's it's rapidly growing, and, and so there's still a lot of um, a lot of growth opportunity there. Um, some of the other you know things that are emerging, like a, a machine vision type of applications, um, you know, things. Um, where, um, you know, we, we want to be able to see, but we can't put uh, a human there or it's not convenient or you know, whatever the, the case is. So um, I think in the, in the shorter term, the, you know, and there's also um, insurance. Um, I've seen some evidence of uh, insurance being um, a, a new growth market.